Hello, everyone. The full moons are always the highest point of a lunar cycle. It's a very powerful time for strengthening your inner core for introspection, healing within, and shifting blocks by shedding the past. These are things that we all need to do on a regular basis. That's why the universal intelligence gives us the opportunity once in a month to touch base with ourselves. Well, this coming supermoon in Capricorn occurring on the 13th of July is truly very powerful, very, very potent and powerful means powerful. Its potency is like super powerful. And there is no better way to explain it. In fact, I fall short of words. So please pay attention. No matter what your sign or rising sign is, this week you need to tread carefully, especially if you feel you are undergoing any kind of tensions in life. This full moon isn't an eclipse, but it's positioned so close to the eruptive planet Pluto that it'll be a good, a good thing to spend time in silence and indulge in your spirituality, whichever way you feel or deem fit, and seek the grace of your higher energies. The issues you've been ignoring in the hope that they will go away are the very issues most likely to be stirred up by this full moon. So whatever you're angry about and have been trying to spiritually bypass, you need to address them. You will have to address them and no more brushing them under the carpet. So actually, we all need to face our fears with the thought of liberation for the opposite of fear is freedom. This full moon evidently wants us to be free from toxic relationships, toxic behavior, and be clean and fresh in order to improve our own state of mind. And that is the ultimate spiritualism for your own self or for your personal self, I would say. Declutter your environments, your office and your home spaces. You also need to stay away from energy vampires for the sake of your own sanity. Your ego needs to be kept in check. Do not allow your ego work to your detriment. So whatever you do, you need to connect with your heart and do things what you feel right about. Speak words which come from the place of feelings rather than ego or pride. One of the brilliant ways to work with the full moon energy of Capricorn is to work towards your own structure of life, especially in regards to your health and wealth. The less clutter you have in your life or space, the better the energies will flow. Work hard if you have to, but be determined and disciplined on releasing what is no longer working in the best interests of your life or your personal self. So keep in mind that forgiveness is also a kind of release. I would put it this way, release trying to control everything and everyone. Since the full moon is occurring in the down to earth sign of Capricorn, which always faces facts, it's going to be a lot easier for you to be really honest about what to release and who you should forgive this month. No matter, no matter if the individual has asked for forgiveness or not, your concern should be only your peace of mind. You forgive, forget, and move on in your mind. This actually brings in serenity to your own mind and heart. This time, I also wish to apprise you that if you can find out for yourself through your natal chart as to which house the sign of Capricorn falls in, then focusing on that sector of your life will be extremely helpful. This guidance can help emotionally being alert and which are the areas where you need to release your energies. The opposition of the sun and the moon at the time of the full moon can create a tug of war in mind and heart. Knowing which house your full moon is positioned or straggling can help you foresee so then you could make your affirmations positively 
and productively. This way, finding a balance in life becomes easier. 